Right. Well, well, that's right. Well, see, we're not going to the ground. The cares of the world is going to choke the seed out of some folk life, and they'll never be productive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You got to break the battle ground. Of people are in ministry. They are in buildings. Come on, they're in synagogues. They're in churches. They're in <laughs> Ephesus. But they're not growing. They're not producing. They're not coming forward because the battle ground has not been broken up. Well, you may be the one that's got the answer, but you go into a place that don't have nothing going on. The ground is still parched. The yeah. ground is still hard. Well, the ground is still stubborn. Help us. Help us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That means hey, that hey. nothing has been done to that ground. It's Come on. Be help yeah. us. Help us. Help you us. Us, help us. But the earthen vessels cannot produce if it has not been broken up. Well, come on here. Come on. Help us. Help us. Oh, thank, my God. Oh, thank God. you, God. You know, the funny thing that I thought about when farmers do, they break up fallow ground. Come on. Come on. Yeah. They break up fallow ground, and you know what they normally do? They, they, they look at the ground, and they see that, okay, we're going to plow it up. It looks really good. Now, put some stink on it. Yeah. Well, I need you to mix up yeah. some mess with it. Yeah. Well, Amen. well. Come on, somebody. Well. Sometimes Come on, yes, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't get quiet. Give me that water right there. Help us, God. Help us. The name of Jesus. You gotta get to a place where you understand that there must be a breaking up of fallow ground. There is a lot of fallow ground, even with believers who have been named in the name of Christ for years. Yeah. <laughs> the Bible says they that name the name of Christ depart from what? Iniquity. Yes. Yes. Right. But if they haven't departed from iniquity, then what you're building on is hardcore ground. Well, well, help us, help us. God help us. Even when the soldiers get ready to go out after they they, they completed boot camp, they get ready to go out. They they put this uh, stuff on their faces, right? They put on camouflage because they don't need to be noticed. Yes. Come on here. They don't need to be noticed. They've already broken the fallow ground when they've been trained on the ground. They've been trained how to handle, amen, yes, what God. they need to be doing. That's in the right. That's they've right. They've been trained how to put on their armor. They've been trained how to carry, amen, yes. what they need to carry the battle. They've been trained. Yes, well, God. Yes, yeah. God. Help us. Some of them had to be trained so hard, it almost made them want to quit, but they said, I can't quit because I'm too far in. Well, yeah. but they understand that I must be trained correctly because if I go out on the battlefield and I'm with my brethren, but now they got and then I know that I can get one of them killed or even kill myself if I don't know what I'm doing. Well, so when you go in and break a fallow ground, you got to know what you're doing. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. You got to break a fallow ground. You got to, how do you break a, I'm glad you asked. You come on, come on, help us. You got to go in the atmosphere. First and foremost is not to go inside the building. Oh, my God. Well, all right, all right. You got to go to the entrance of where you're going, the entrance of the city. There's a principality that houses that city.
that's yeah. right. You got to understand that if they don't know you and they know why you're coming, then you really don't have authority. Yeah. Well, all right, all right. Uh, well, all right. I wish I had one amen. I heard that. You in the house. See, what I'm telling you is the fact that it's not because of beauty. It's not because of ugly. It's not because of what you have or don't have. It's the fact that now I understand that this has been uncultivated for years. But God says, I'm going to send the power in. Yes. When I send the power in, I'm going to send reinforcement. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Because you have become hard. Come on now. Yes. Help, us. God. Help us you now. You become hard toward the word. You become yes. hard toward instruction. Yes. You've been, been hard for a while. So God says, I gotta break up the fallow ground. I gotta yes. soften your heart. Yes, yes God. I gotta cut away the foreskin of your heart because yes. your heart is yet acting flesh. Come on, come on, come on. Help us, help us. Come on, somebody. Yes, yes God. Uh, but what did he God. say? He says, I gave the fivefold ministry for the perfecting of the saints. I've got to bring you into perfection. You're not perfected yet. Yes. Mm -hmm. You still have issues. You still deal with mighty, uh, a little minor issues, petty issues. Yes. Well, you still deal with stuff that is trying to bring you from God when it should be uh, pushing you toward God. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Come on now. Amen. Okay. You got you got things that you've been dealing with that you shouldn't even have to deal with. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Come on here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fallow means that it's a ground that is usually cultivated land that is allowed to lie idle during growing season. So once it's cultivated, mm -hmm. then it's lying idle. That means that it's not doing nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, well. So once it's cultivated, something has to happen. Yes, it does. Come on, farmers don't just leave it cultivated. They do no. something with it. That's, that's right. That's they, right. They put some sink on it. Yes, it does. It's called fertilizer. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Yes. Uh, yeah. Come on here. Mm. Cultivate the ground. Plant the seed. Yes. Put the stain on it. The apple's gone. And it's supposed to grow. Mm. Have you ever have you ever drove by in the country? You know, when we pass through the country, we used to drive by these little areas like, Woo, what is that? Uh -huh. And they said, that's cow manure. I'm like, what, what, what? Cow manure, what is that? Yeah. You know, because if you're not used to the country, you know about the cows and what That's right, that's right. That's Amen. right. So we found out that it was cow manure. And what they do now is they, they make up a whole lot of stuff. It's real, real smelly. Yes, they do. And they put it, they even, some people put it on their grass. Yeah. yeah. Sure do. Yeah. Come on. Because they what? Putting some kind of moisturizing nourishment, treatment, if you will. Let the weed and the tear grow together. That's right. And God says, when I come, I'll do the separating. So, yes, in other words, it's not going to bother the crop. It's not going to bother the seed, but it's going to help the seed to grow. That's right. Right. Sometimes, you say, sometimes you need some mess in your life.
Yes. Hallelujah. We gotta break up without no ground. We're gonna break up without no ground tonight. All right. God wanna perfect us to a point where we can go into a place and not have to ask questions, but we know what to do. We know how to pray. Ah, that's pray, right. Pray. That's it. That's it. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. You may be you may be going into the marketplace and God says, I want you to walk into this store and just begin to pray. Go with all these people here, yeah. Go to pray. All right. All right. Amen. And the woman of God said, You don't ever know what's gonna happen. Yeah. You don't ever know what's getting ready to take place. Yeah. Like, oh, but you need to be able to pray. We were uh, in, um, what was the name of the store? Um, or oh, Winchester. They had the coat. No, I'm shopping now. While we were in there, me and Ebony and the baby, and we were getting ready to check out, and all of a sudden, we heard this commotion going on. I'm still checking out, like, in my business. I'm checking out, and she said, oh! I said, what is it? She said, just don't walk out with a basket. I said, what, girl? Yeah. So they grabbed the basket, so you can't walk out with that. And I guess they was just going to be like, yeah, you're going to let this basket go. So anything could have happened. That's right. So I hollered, Jesus. <laughs> I'm crazy. Next thing I know, they said, the man went on out the door. I was like, well, did they get it? They said, no, he went on. I made him let it go. Okay. When you cultivate yes. yes, God, come on, come on. Yes. The very name that brings the yes. 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 the atmosphere. Come on now, that's it. You put the name Jesus out there and everything got a honor. Yes, yes. yes. God. yes. God. God. Yes. 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 All right, yeah. ma'am. All right, ma'am. All right, ma'am. Yeah. Breaking yeah. a fellow ground around your household may just keep you from disobeying God. Yeah. All right, ma'am. All right. Yeah. Breaking a fellow ground around your household just might keep you from disobeying God. Yeah. Well, you see, we don't ever think about breaking a fellow ground in our neighborhood. We don't think right. about breaking a fellow ground even when you walk outside the door because it just might be some things waiting for you. Yeah. It may be some traps that the enemy is setting for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, when he becomes when I have time, 
he become, I'm, I'm, Lord, I'm busy right now, but I'll get to you. I'm sure, I'm, I, I, I promise you, I'm going to get to you. That's when we don't desire him like we used to. Yes, amen. When God ain't even in the picture, he's not even a part of the process. Well, well. well he's the one that's starting the process. Yes, yes. But what he wants to do is break up the fallow ground that's keeping him from being Lord over our lives. Come on here. Yes. From being the beginning of our lives, the center of our joy, and everything in between and what's going to happen at the end. Yes. God wants us to be able to allow what he's planning in us to grow effectively. Yes. Right. If you've been saved over a year, you ought to be growing. Yes. That's right. You're right. If you've been saved over a year, you ought to be growing. But if you're still the same growth pattern, the same growth process as you were two, three years ago, you are, you're not growing. That's right. Yes. That's right. That's right. Come on, baby. Come on. You got to grow. So, well, some folks should have outgrown others. But if you're waiting on them to catch up, then you're stagnating your growth. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right. How many times have God told me you can't keep waiting on the people? Oh, no. mm. oh, you got to go where He's sending you. That's right. That's right. Come on. Am I right? That's it. That's it. Come on here. Same thing goes for your pastor. Goes for you. Well, that's right. That's right. Because you can't wait on folks to grow. Yes, Amen. They may not want to grow like you. That's it. They can't handle what you can handle. Come on now. Yeah. Sometimes I ask God, let some people experience some of these demons that I got to deal with. <laughs> That's right. Yes. That's right. It's like a daycare center, right? You already have it in mind how you want the center to be, you know, going forward, operating. You know who's going to be your administrator. You know who's going to be your director. You know who's going to be the teachers. On and on and on, right? And so before grand opening, you already have a preconceived mind that I want things to operate like this. The children are going to have to do this, this, that, and the other. Yes. This is the order. They have to have uniform, uniform colors. It's going to be just like this. Guess what? You all of a sudden have a grand opening. But you forgot to bring up the fellow ground. Mm, okay. <laughs> Are you with me so far? <laughs> so then when they when they start coming in, they're all excited. The parents are like, yes, I'm glad to bring it. Yes, yes, yes. And all of a sudden, you start seeing a pattern of something that you said this daycare will not yeah. have to deal with. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yes. All right, all right. But there's a pattern. Come on. So then you say, okay, let me give. What is it, a message or a uh, note to the, to the parent or however they do it? And they say, okay, this is your first message to let you know does and does need to be done, does and does and does and that. They say, okay, then they go and they do it maybe in a couple of weeks or so, then they go back to the old pattern. Mm. Mm. Well. So you say, well, what is the problem? I can't seem to get this, I can't seem to have, this is not, I'm not understanding. You got to go back and break up fallow ground. One of two things is going to happen when you break up the fallow ground after you haven't broken it. You break it up, what's going to happen is alignment is going to take place okay. for dismissal. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. All right. All right. You're right. Alignment or what? Dismissal. Dismissal. All right. You've got to break up that little ground. Yes, God. Help us, God. Watch this. Let me give you an example. Let me give you a Let's say he has broken up that little ground, right? Yeah. He's broken up that little ground. Come on, Shane. Shane says, I'm going to surrender my will to the Lord because I trust this battle ground. I trust what God has planted, the seeds and everything. So she stands beside the man of God, right? Watch this. All of a sudden, God says, I'm going to do a new thing. Mm, all right. And he starts doing a new thing. Let me hear you. So she stands over here and she breaks up the fallow ground. Right? But the fallow ground that she's breaking up has nothing to do with that fallow ground. Right. All right. This is the fallow ground that she has to break up because what God is sending to receive of that seed is a different core of oh. people. Are y'all with me? Come on now. All right, all right. 
for the people that God is sending for this season, a different core of people. Yes, yes I will. Doesn't mean that they can't function together. It just means that they're on what, different levels. levels. That's yes. right, baby. The That's it. The battleground is different. The ground is different. The breaking of that battleground is different. So now God says, now let me assign the old to this battleground, and then I'll assign to this battleground. No, she's not a pastor, but she's a help to. To help and minister. Y'all with me so yes, far? Yes, 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 yes. And by her being a help to, she's going to help in every way she can. So this is a part of ministry that needs her help. Yes, all right, all right. Come on, come on. But that part of the ground had to be broken up by her. Yeah. Oh, I just saw. Oh. He breaks up the fallow ground for the whole vision. Yeah. Ooh. But when it's her turn to function in what God gave her, she has to break up the ground. All right, now, come on here. Glory to God. Yes, see, God. that's the reason why some people are clinging to a particular ground and yes. some people are clinging to a different ground. Yes. Yes. Because they can't get over the ground that they're sitting on. Yes. 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 Y
Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Somebody else to take my place. Mm. And it may be sleep, it may be TV, it may be friend or foe. But well, you allow somebody to take the place of God. He's already cultivated the ground for you. Right. He says, I'm ready to plant you so that you can grow so quick that people will follow you to who I am. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Come on here now. Yeah. Mama. The fellow ground. That ground needs to be broken up. Yes. Mm. That ground needs to be broken up. I'm unsure. I'm not. I'm, I'm. You need that ground broken up. If I gave you an assignment right now, could you carry it out? Or would you have to say, if it's God? <laughs> Don't break up his skin. Would you ever say it's God? Well, let me pray about it. Cause that kind of sound right there will cost me a little bit. Well, or would you say yes? Praise him right where you are. Yes, God. Praise him right where you are. Come on now. You don't yes, need no music. You don't need nobody. Hallelujah. No, yeah. Just praise him right where you are. Yes, hallelujah. yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yes, God. Awesome, God. Yes, God. God. Yes, God. Now, listen, can you vouch for me right here? When God gives us a word and He says, Praise me in advance. You don't know why He's saying, Praise me in advance. Your body probably saying, Shoot, don't tell me. I don't know with all kinds of stuff today. But you say, Out of obedience, I praise you, God. Yes, God. Yes. Yes, God. God. Yes, 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 God. Yes,
That's why they got to obey God. Yes. He's gonna keep whooping and spanking and whooping until they get it again. That's right, that's right. Amen. Glory to God. And then you know the funny part about it. God will put you in a place to serve that hurts you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in here by myself. All right, you in the house. You in the house, baby. You in the house. Put you in a place to serve that hurts you. That's right. Get on your nerve. Uh, okay, God, what you want me to do? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Just thank God that he didn't tell you like he told me. If you don't obey me, I will have no need of you. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. He will. Yeah. He will. And when he God. told me that I was living in Dallas, Texas, and I was on my way to a burning hell. Yes, you were. Yes, yes, I right. saw it with my own self eyes. My God. I was going fast. And I was saying, Lord, save me. Saved. Yes, yes. And that's when he saved me for real. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. It's not enough to go to church. It's not enough to clock in and say, that's right. oh, I'm, I'm here. That's right. You know, it's not enough to half do what you've been called to do. That's, that's right. right. That's right. right. You got to do all of it. Yes, amen. Or allow him to cultivate that ground. Yes, amen. Jeremiah 4 and 1 says, If thou wilt return, O Israel, said the Lord, return unto me, and if thou wilt put away thine abomination. Well, out of my sight, then shalt thou not remove. When we remove out of the presence of the Lord, there's some abomination somewhere. Yes, yes God. Amen. It could be disobedience. It could be rebellion. It could be self-righteous. Mm -hmm. Yes. It could be stubbornness. Yes. That's right. It could be a lot of different things that God is looking at. But he said, if you will return to me, mm -hmm. put away your abominations out of my sight, then That's right. shalt thou not Remove. Yes. And thou shalt swear the Lord living in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. And the nation shall be the nation shall bless themselves in him, and in him shall the glory, or shall they glory, for thus said the Lord. To the men of Judah and Jerusalem, break up your fallow ground and sow not among thorns. Mm. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord. And take away the foreskins of your heart, ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come forth like fire and burn, that none can quench it because of the evil of your doors. Let me tell you something. When you set yourself in a place to disobey God in any way, form, or fashion, uh -huh. that's right, that's you right. set yourself in a place to literally remove yourself from that which God has called you to. Yes. Man didn't give this to you. That's Man right. didn't call you to this. That's right. Man didn't have no where Amen. to place you or put you. God saw before the foundation of the world. He knew everywhere that the soul of our feet would tread. He knew the ground that needed to be cultivated. He knew the people's heart who needed to be changed. He said what? He said if you break up the fallow ground, he said circumcise yourself to the Lord. You've got to be circumcised. Your heart needs to be circumcised. There are some things that's returning that once was taken. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. God has to soften the heart. Listen, when Pharaoh was coming after the children of Israel, he had let them go from, in, uh, uh, from Egypt. He let them go. And they were already gone from him. He had given them blessings and everything. Yes. And then he had a heart change. That's right. He decided, I want them back. Mm. God had to soften his heart for him to let them go in the first place. And when he did, he didn't realize that God had done it. And then after they were gone, he didn't have nobody else to serve as slaves. And then he wanted them back. But God won't let it be said. So once he delivered you, he don't want you going back. Amen. All right. Come over here. Amen. Cultivate the ground. Oh my. Once that ground is cultivated, you will not return to your own abominations. Yes. You will return to the same old thing that had you bound. Yes. Your right. yes that started in the beginning will be a greater yes after you're cultivated. Oh yes. Come on here now. All right now. Amen. Y'all ain't got to say amen. 
Amen. When your heart changes, yes, so does your action. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, it does. Amen. Amen. Yes, it does. Amen. Amen. Don't feel like going to work. You ain't going. All right. Amen. You tell your boss, I, I, I'm not gonna make it today. Put me in for a day off, a uh, sick day. Why? Because your heart has changed toward that day. Mm. Yes. Amen. And whether you know it or not, when you fall from your steadfastness, that ground becomes hard. Amen. It's hard for God to cultivate. What you won't let go of. Mm. Yes, amen. Mm. Mm. The spirit of apostasy is creeping in the church. Well, yes, no. I'm going to close with that. It's creeping in the church because why? Some people are falling from the faith of God's word. Yes, mm. amen. You got a lot of people that say I'm saved and they go to a building. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. yes. But does your confession add up to? Your relationship. Well, Amen. all right now. Amen. Does it add up to the life that you say you're doing for God? Yes. Amen. The ground has to be cultivated. Yes. Let me tell you something. When you are fearful of God and you have reverential fear of God, I don't care what, what is going on, you're not going to move. Yes. Amen. All right. All right. From obeying God because of anything. That's Amen. right. That's right. Pastor, I told them I had been offered a salary, eleven $1 hundred dollars, mm. to pastor a church in Little Rock. Mm. I turned it down. Oh yes. This was years ago. Back then, the money would have been, you know, pretty nice. But it was not my assignment. The ground that God has already cultivated is what I'm working. Amen. That's right. All right now. All right. All right. Amen. I can't build on another man's foundation. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. Because if that's the case, then that means that I never really accepted what God gave. I just wanted it for whatever personal reason that I got. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The person right. that can leave what God started as a vision and say, I don't want it no more. You can have it. I put somebody else in it. But I'm going over it. They got more money. They got more benefits. They got all, everything I can even take up. That means that you have left yes. the first glory. Mm. Yes. yes. Wow. Thank you. To reap up another glory. Yes, yes, that's right. Come on. That's not even for you. That's right. I know two pastors that did it. When you found something, F O U N D, when you become the founder of something that God has called you to, and you take upon yourself to say, I don't want this anymore because it's not big enough. Yes. It's not growing. Yes. I'm tired of what I see. Mm. I want something that's better than this. I want something that offers better benefits than this. Help and then when the opportunity presents itself, instead of you saying, I'm going to stay with God, you say, this is a better opportunity. Yes. So now you're scattering the sheep. Woo! Come on now. Yeah. Glory to God. And when the sheep is scattered, they don't have anywhere to go. Mm. And while you're thinking it's green or grass on the other side, you've got to give an account to what you Okay. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's true. Come on, somebody. Yes, God. The ground has to be cultivated. Then your faithfulness will return. Mm. Ooh. I think I could have heard a pin drop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When the ground is cultivated, your faithfulness will return. I'm talking to the corporate body. Yes, yes that's right. right, that's right. We all been there. That's right. That's right. That's right. Help but us. when you have gotten to a place where you said, you know what, God, I'm not, I'm Lord, now come on here. You're allowing your mind to start asking if this is really what you want. Yeah. Wow. When God knows what He wants. Mm -hmm. Go back to Jeremiah 1. Everybody's not a prophet, but go back to Jeremiah chapter 1. He says that before I formed you in the belly, I what? Knew you. He knew you. That's right. So before we even came forth, He knew us. Yes, amen. He ordained us to do what we're supposed to do. And some people don't want to do it because they feel like this is, this is. And then be careful. I was talking to somebody the other day. I said, divination is so close to the truth, you'll think it's done. That's right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Because you'll receive a prophetic word. Mm -hmm. And that word will make you think that that's what God is saying, all because you are now trying to function on another man's what? Foundation. 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 Yeah. So now what God has said, you don't even know. Yes. Mm. 
you just assume that the ground is good. Mm -hmm. Wow. I was preaching at a church not long ago. And the Lord told me, he says, this is not fertile ground for you. All right. Okay. Yeah, he said that some while ago. Y'all remember that song there? He said, that's not the ground. So he told me, don't take nothing. I had to leave. I wasn't hurt, because I could call some sin. I could have called some to shame. I could have called some to the knowledge of it. But God, God will tell you not to partake of something. Mm -hmm. Only when it has an abominated anointing. Wow, yeah. wow, yeah. wow. Come on now. Get out. So I said, okay, God. <clears throat> I said, open it so that they'll know. Yeah. I got a call not long after that. I appreciate it. I said, praise God, I appreciate my life. Because when God tells you not to do it, you think I'm a new friendship. Right. Ain't got a new friendship. Show sure one. Wow. You just gotta obey God. Right, that's right. That same night, former God and her husband walked up to me. Mm -hmm. I was gonna tell you, but I didn't know how to get the word to you. God don't want you to take the oath. But you said it before I could get the word to you. I'm so thankful. But I want to plant a seed to replenish what you gave up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you with Yeah. When the ground has been cultivated. Yeah. Yes. Mm. In your life. Yeah. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Yeah. Nothing left. Yeah. All right now. He'll send you to places. Yeah. Yes, he will. To break up the fallow ground so that whatever is sown in your life has to come back a hundredfold, not yeah. thirty and sixty, yeah. but a hundredfold. Well, all right, all right. Amen. Because it's a genuine call of God. It's a genuine move of God. Yes, Lord. Everybody ain't got to fall out. That's right, that's right. That's right. Everybody ain't got to be spitting up. That's right, that's it. Sometimes just receiving the totality yes. of what God is saying. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. Help us, God. It's what's causing things to begin to grow. Yes, yes. yes. Amen. The anointing of the Lord rests upon the heaven. Yes. Evangelist there. There's some things that God is going to awaken. I don't know if I heard this from Pastor uh, Wimbush or somebody maybe said, but I heard this while I was up there preaching. That there's some things that God gave you that you were not able to do yet. But he's bringing it back. Mm, so right. you can do it. Come on now. Mm. There is a powerful anointing of the word that's on you. It's with God on <laughs> And the word is so rich in you. At times, I don't even know if you hurt yourself. You're preaching in your sleep. <laughs> and it comes out. God is saying she's preaching in her sleep because she's full of my word. Mm. Thank you. But he's about to give you space and opportunity ah. to release it. Yes, God. Yes, God. Have your way, God. You said, God, this is not my life. This is your life. Whatever yes. your will is. Yes. Let your will be done. And he says, as of tonight, he's going to begin to unfold some of the things that you were not able to do. Mm. All right. Some of the things that you were not able to uh, not only get done, but to complete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there is something supernatural that's going to happen. Prophetically, God wants you to cover some children. And you're going to have to cover them because their mind will be captivated by school in certain areas. And he's going to give you the names of them. It doesn't matter whether they're where you are or somewhere else. God's going to give you the names of them. He said, I want you to cover them prophetically in prayer. Because as you're praying, he says, I want you to command their spirit to obey the will of God, even at school. Mm, all right, man. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
Yes, God. Amen. Yes, God. You can be wherever you are, and God will use you to speak a word where somebody else is, and it'll work just like that. Amen. That's right. That's right. I never forget right. we were pastoring in Arkansas, and my son, I told him, I said, you get to acting up in school? I said, uh, I'm going to get you. He said, I had to come to school. I said, I'm going to get you. He said, like, okay, okay. Went on to school. He got to school. Adams. He started acting up. And all of a sudden, something clicked. He said, oh, man. And they said, what's wrong with you, man? He said, that's my mom. <laughs> because you have to... But that's what it's costing you, obedience. 
Everything that you ask God to give you, tonight is the night he's going to give it to you. Yes, God. Everything that you have God to give you, tonight is the night God's going to give it to you. Thank you. Yes, God. Tonight, let me tell you something. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.
Some people will never ever be detached, even though they grow. Yes, yes they may. Mm. Yes, All right. Um, oh my. Mm. You gotta be ready for that ground. Yes, God. And once that ground is cultivated, you go and pray and correct everything in the spirit. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 They will get what they need. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Tonight, everyone, you will, out of obedience, to sow a twenty dollars seed. If you can do that tonight, let's sow tonight. Can we do that? Well, I think I said amen. I got amen. 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 I think I'm glad you did me. I did. I cooked some neck on. You can be seated right there. You're going to give, amen. Let me tell you, your seat is going to come back quick. Yes, it is. Your seat is going to come back quick. Out of obedience. So, hallelujah. Bring someone on tomorrow and the next night. Invite somebody, bring them out. God, this is my sister in the Lord, amen. So, God, we're helping her to cultivate this land and this region. Amen. We're releasing apostolic prophetic. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Lord. And as you're saw, we're going to pray over here again.
I see a vanilla folder and I see you putting all this information in a folder. The Lord says that he's going to tell you when to step out on faith. And when he tells you, that's going to be when. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. EIN number anyway. Yeah, and that EIN number will um, it'll, it'll, it'll do some things. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Because he's getting ready to do it. He's getting ready to do it. Yes, God. What is this about a dance studio? Uh oh. Sister Mary. I see some flags and I see um, dancers. And I don't see them just girls, but I see them really excited. They got smiles on their faces. Some have flags and others are dressed in two tone outfits. That is the will of the Lord. That is the will of the Lord. Oh my God. The money that's available if you open a school. And you can keep working if you want to, or stop working if you want to, or minimally work if you want to. But I see this school, and I see young girls coming, wanting to be trained because they really want to go for the presence of the Lord. And I see the anointing in a glory form. It's the word of the Lord. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Everybody get it again. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If you um Wow. <laughs> I like that. You want to hear your words? Okay. Wow. Oh. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Don't you want to come and hold up all the mess? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, we're gonna pray over your gifts. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes, There's some money here to come to somebody that is unexpected, but it's coming. Yes, 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 it's not a little piece of money. Amen. Yes, it's all right it's now. But it's coming. Amen. It's all right. It's coming. It's, it's long overdue, but it's coming. Well, all right. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God, lift your seat up into the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for every seed that's sown tonight. Yes. We thank you for the givers. We thank you, Father God, that you're going to add to them a hundredfold. Oh, yes, Jesus. that's right. Yes, God. We thank you, Father, even for those that didn't have it on tonight. Yes, God. We pray, God, increase upon their lives. Yes, God. As they continue to walk in obedience to your will, yes, we thank you, Lord, that they will see the increase. Yes. I thank you, Lord, that you get ready to do exceeding and abundantly above all that we can ask for that according to the power that we can do yes, God. as well as in us. Yes. We give you praise, God, for these seeds tonight. Yes. Bring an immediate manifestation. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Listen, the Lord told me to tell you there is a place that's going to give you the approval. I don't know if it's that or another one, but God says, as he did before, he's going to do it again. But I'm going to tell you, you can go there, it's temporary, wherever it's going to be, because he's, he's preparing you to get a house. Mm. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Because you need a separate area for you and God to dwell. Mm. So he says, I want to give you that so that you can dwell with him and he can dwell with you. Because you are used to literally being as Adam and Eve used to be in the cool of the day meeting God. Oh my God. And you are used to talking to him and communing with him. But here lately you haven't had the space. <laughs> Ooh, all right. All right. So God says, trust him. Yes, God. Again. Yeah. Ooh, all right. All right. I mean, you know he's breaking up fallow ground. Yeah. 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 It doesn't matter what the enemy does, he's breaking up fallow ground. As you're getting ready to come to put your seed in this plate, I want you to tell God, 
Thank you in advance. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, you can Lord. come, amen. Thank you. We ain't in no Baptist setting. You can come as you are and bring your seed, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. 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 Thank you,
And then the third night, you know, they'll get real excited and stuff. Uh huh. You ain't in the spirit when you do that. Yes, amen. Okay, you ain't in the spirit. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for your glory coming down on tonight. God, thank you, God, for the unexpected miracles that fell on tonight. They were unexpected, they were supernatural, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, for everyone that have came, God, we speak over them right now, God. Father, we thank you for it right now, for increase that will hit their household, even on their jobs, God, right now. That's humility when we take our time for God. Glory be unto God. We thank you, God, for this woman of God, for her husband, for her husband, God. Even for her evangelist, God. Even for her music ministry,
Thank <laughs> you. 